Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Shiveka. Uh, welcome to uh, the webinar brought to you by Varthana. Today's webinar topic is creating a positive school culture through smart goal setting. Uh, so we are so glad to have you here with us today. Uh, please stay tuned uh, to the webinar till end because we'll be uh, providing a participation certificate towards the end to those people who will fill the feedback form. So please stay tuned to the webinar. Uh, please uh, interact and engage as much as possible. And let's have an interactive, interactive session. Uh, before we move ahead and uh, jump into today's topic, I would like to share some context. Uh, so Varthana, uh, at Varthana, we have been uh, closely working uh, in school development and uh, serving uh, schools uh, in best possible way. Uh, so we have been doing these webinar series from last year. And last year, we have done uh, 90s webinars for school leaders and teachers. And uh, this year also, we are committed to uh, continue doing those webinars. Uh, last year, the webinars uh, topic which we have covered were related to marketing, how to increase the, the student enrollment, uh, pedagogies, how to effectively teach, uh, how to plan better, uh, lesson planning, uh, uh, leadership, leadership skills, uh, strategic planning, uh, subject-wise, how you can effectively teach uh, students. Uh, so we covered maths and English. We also covered... Uh, uh, topics related to data and uh, data analysis and how to get the insight and work it in best possible way. Uh, school can use it in best possible way. Uh, so uh, as I said, uh, we got like a really good response last year and uh, we are motivated and committed to keep on serving school through these webinar. So this year also we'll have this series of webinar. Uh, this time it will, it will be a theme based series. And uh, this, uh, this uh, our first theme is planning and uh, managing resources. So we'll start with uh, smart goals, um, followed by parents, um, parents engagement, early childhood education and planning, uh, remedial uh, education, and these things. Uh, so please uh, stay tuned to us. Please stay tuned to uh, Varthana website. Uh, you'll get all the updates, and we also uh, keep on sharing uh, the details uh, with all the participants. So let's move ahead with today's uh, topic that is creating a positive school culture through smart goal setting. Today's agenda is introduction and session objective, goal setting and its importance, Loki's goal setting theory, smart goal setting, and examples, Vartna program, feedback and closing. So we'll start with a quick introduction. Uh, so uh, here, uh, <laughs> it's difficult to get introduction from uh, such a uh, like huge uh, audience. Uh, but if you want to share, you can put your name and your school name in a QA and a section. I'll also be launching a poll. Uh, I'll request everyone to vote and uh, share their participant profile. What is your profile? I'm going to launch it. Uh, so we have mostly uh, school leader and principal here with us and 55% uh, and 29% teachers. Though this session is relevant for uh, everyone, uh, be it a school leader, principal, uh, coordinator, teacher, or uh, people from other organization. So uh, thank you uh, for joining us. Uh, I'll just uh, move uh, to the objectives, today's objective. So today's objective is to learn uh, smart uh, goal setting, smart goals to attain desire and a uh, smart goal to attain desired outcome, learn effectively uh, how using smart goal strategy, you can e effectively plan a year. Uh, for yourself. So uh, uh, I'll also uh, like to talk a bit about her, uh, about the session which we have uh, covered in past. So in as I've mentioned that uh, we have uh, done a few sessions and uh, some session for leadership, uh, strategic planning, uh, strategic management. There we have covered uh, vision, mission, and uh, goal setting. So as a school leader, or as a teacher, it's important to have a clear goal. Uh, if you have a vision mission to achieve that vision mission, you have to break it down into smaller goals and uh, then achieve uh, it. And uh, then uh, that's the uh, key to success, basically. So this time uh, at the this time in the academic year, uh, it's quite crucial uh, to have goal setting uh, because you set the tone for the entire year through goal setting. So it's important to have a direction for the entire year uh, through this process. And that's why we are starting our uh, uh, this academic year uh, webinar series with this topic. So hopefully it will add some value for everyone. So let's start with a quick discussion. Uh, do you think goal setting is important and why? I request everyone to put uh, their responses uh, in Q&A section and you can also raise your hand and share. 
do you think goal setting is important and why anyone who wants to share okay uh, can someone tell me yes i i got one person someone has removed okay so can someone put it in the chat box that do you think goal setting is important yes or no in q and a section you can put yes or no do you think whether the goal setting is important or no okay yes yes okay it guides us ahead true without goal setting we can't achieve anything uh, true again it's very important a uh, school will have direction for uh, uh, for the it, it will give direction uh, to the school to achieve yes so yeah uh, i agree to uh, whatever you uh, all have uh, shared in q and a section that it's important to uh, achieve it to have a clear idea what you gonna uh, what you are planning to achieve or what you are aiming to achieve and then uh, plan or a follow process to achieve it it's quite crucial uh, let's see uh, goal setting and uh, again uh, as uh, the uh, followed by the question that what is goal and how to set it so a goal is an object or target with an organization or individual intent to achieve so in school case your target can be to increase enrollment by 20% so that can be a goal for the year so if you just think that i want to increase enrollment by 20% or i just want to increase the enrollment is it feasible to achieve it you have to uh, divide it and uh, uh, give it uh, or uh, label it by saying that who's going to achieve it what we are aiming to achieve by, by when we are aiming to achieve so to achieve any target or any objective it's important to do a goal setting so you have a goal you have a uh, you want to achieve something but how you going to achieve is the process so goal setting is the process to achieve the objective desire, desired objective uh, so it's important to uh, decide what you want to accomplish so here in this case you want to accomplish uh, uh, in enrollment uh, increase in enrollment how how you going to do it so do you want to like increase your budget of marketing do you want to do community intervention to increase the enrollment do you want to do door to door campaign uh, do you want to uh, focus on a uh, learning outcome of the school so parents get attracted towards your school to uh, get get the admission or take the admission so devising a plan to accomplish that goal and what uh, and uh, working on a plan to achieve that so now you have a uh, thought what do you want to achieve how you want to achieve it what are the steps or what you're going to do to achieve it and how you're going uh, or whether it's being achieved or not is it working or not uh, the plan is in process implementation is happening or not there's a constant feedback loop or not so it's important to uh, have this process in place and goal setting is not only related with achieving something it uh, it also improves a lot of things in terms of performance uh, commitments towards the goal um, mor morality uh, morale uh, and uh, culture it builds a lot of thing so uh, that's why goal setting is important as you all have also mentioned let's move to uh, next slide and uh, discuss that what do you think will happen if you fail to set a goal a yearly goal what will happen if in case you fail to set a yearly goal uh, please feel free to uh, use q and a section or you can also raise your hand and speak we all agree that goal setting is important what will happen if you fail to achieve that uh, goal or if you fail to set a goal and achieve it you won't get the desired outcome true oh, i'll just say that uh, it's not only you won't get the desired outcome you are not yourself will be sure that what what is the outcome i am desiring if you don't set a goal so that is crucial anyone else wants to share student learning may suffer true in terms of school context uh, school uh, student learning may suffer 
Okay, so yeah, that is true. Uh, if you uh, uh, fail to set a yearly goal, it's difficult to achieve the outcome. It's difficult to deliver, or it's difficult to even define what do you want to deliver. So it's very important to set a goal. So here I would like to give example of uh, yearly planning, lesson planning. So we all do uh, lesson planning yearly, uh, monthly, weekly. It's important to plan that lessons to fit in the timetable. So for example, if there is no proper timetable in place, if there is no lesson plan in place, it's difficult to achieve or, or complete the uh, course in a given duration. It may get, get overlapped. There's a possibility some uh, students are excelling in some subjects, some subject courses getting completed, others are lagging behind. So it's important to have a proper planning. Just imagine situation in your school. What if you'll fail to do a, a lesson plan uh, for the entire year or for the month or the week? Uh, the clarity would not be there. What you're setting to achieve is not there. How you're going to do it? When By when you want to achieve it? And if there is a lack of timetable in the school. So, for example, there's no timetable you follow. And you only have like six to seven hours to uh, teach students. It will get extended. Uh, it may take up other subject timing. So, for example, a uh, English teacher may end up taking two hours classes, and my teacher doesn't get to deliver what uh, they want to in the duration. So, it's very important to have a goal, and these co goals can uh, be in small forms uh, 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 like timetable and lesson plan and all. So, uh, you, we all know like what will happen if we we'll fail to uh, follow through a timetable or a lesson plan. So, uh, as I've said that it's important uh, to go set a goal, uh, mention that, uh, you know, maybe uh, there would be delay in course completion if the lesson plan is not there. Uh, it's difficult to cater. Uh, the resource um, management uh, would go haywire. You won't be sure that to teach particular subject, which resources do I need? Uh, if a subject takes only one day, if you don't have a proper planning, uh, if a, a chapter takes only one day, if you don't have a proper planning, you may end up teaching the same chapter for next four days. And that would be just a wastage of your time and resources. So it's important to know that uh, where uh, are we going and why, what we are doing. It's important. Lesson plan give you the, that clear idea that what you are uh, looking to achieve, what you are planning to teach in this particular duration or in the month or the year. Uh, it's uh, also... Uh, uh, give you uh, control uh, on uh, the outcome. So, for example, you are teaching a student uh, using a lesson plan. There are different uh, kind of students uh, with different learning uh, abilities, but you're teaching them in the same way. These lesson plan will help you and give you also time to mitigate that loss where you feel that maybe uh, uh, the way you're teaching is not working out for the student. You can utilize that time and uh, uh, you can utilize that time and uh, uh, do a quick uh, maybe revision for them, use different methods. So there should be a clear checkpoints to check whether it's working out or not. Your lesson plan is not working out. If you don't have a plan, you won't get to know whether it's working out or not. But if there is a proper plan in place, you can always go uh, have a small checkpoints to see whether it's working or not or what are the uh, alterations which is required in your plan to do it. So for that, it's important to have a proper plan uh, in place. And uh, that will also uh, sort of give you uh, the result or, or direction towards what would be the out, uh, out end result, what you're trying to achieve. So for example, I'm trying to achieve course completion uh, one, year, one month prior to my annual exam. So I'll get the time to do the revision. So uh, that will also set a clear objective for me where I'm moving, uh, when I want to reach there. And it's also motivating. So for example, as a teacher, if uh, you fail to uh, teach uh, certain chapters and then uh, towards the end of, uh, towards the exam, there's a lot of accumulated chapter which you have to cover. It's very burdening and it's also demoralizing and demotivating. And it's same for the student. So uh, it also helps to keep your morale uh, up and keeps motivating uh, to because you have a clear direction, clear understanding what you want to achieve. Even if things are not working out, you have time in your hand uh, to rework on it. So uh, goal setting is uh, quite crucial. Uh, so we'll see Loki's goal setting theory. Uh, Loki have given a five principle uh, uh, to do goal setting. These principles are clarity, 
challenge, commitment, feedback, task, task complexity. So when you're doing a goal setting, it's very crucial to have a very clear and specific goal. What you're going to achieve, it's important to define uh, clearly. Uh, that uh, So as I said, that I want to retain my teacher by 20%. Like I want to increase my teacher retention, which is one of the issue schools are facing uh, by 20%. So my goal is clear in this year, in uh, academic year 23-24. So my goal statement is clear. Is it challenging enough for administration? Yes, they have. They are showing, uh, seeing this attrition, high attrition, teacher attrition rate year by year. So it's challenging uh, to. Uh, uh, it's challenging for admin and uh, the uh, management uh, to focus on this goal and retain them. Uh, it's important to have uh, uh, the commitment. So here, commitment is those people who will be working closely. So uh, the involvement should be there. So as a teacher, if I feel uh, uh, committed uh, towards it, uh, I feel the ownership that uh, if uh, if the uh, organization, if the school or the school leader is setting a goal, the goal is challenging uh, for me as an admin. Am I part of the goal? Uh, I, I want to be involved. I, I want to have the sense of ownership. Uh, I, I want to have this. Uh, then only I'll uh, have this commitment towards uh, it. Uh, that uh, this is my goal and I want to achieve it. So it's very important to give the sense of ownership to the people who are involved in the process. Uh, the uh, fourth principle is feedback. Uh, so for example, you said to uh, like uh, achieve 20% uh, retention, teacher's retention. Uh, but uh, maybe uh, your staff is willing to work on it, but something is not working out. Maybe uh, the salary which are being paid is uh, not sufficient. Maybe the amenities which are provided to the female teachers is cause of, uh, uh, cause of, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, attrition in the teachers. There can be ample reasons. So constant feedback uh, will help you to keep a check on it that what is working and what is not working. So here in these case, any factors and number of factors can be there, which is causing this disruption or which is causing uh, uh, issue uh, with uh, uh, teacher uh, retention. So a constant feedback will help uh, when you are doing a goal setting. Also, it will also give you direction whether the goal is achievable or not. So for example, you want to retain uh, teachers by 20%. Uh, is it feasible to retain them? like if they have certain demands is it feasible to fulfill those demands do i have budget as a school to fulfill those demands what can be the other things i want to do can i provide some other trainings uh, to retain these teachers so the feedback uh, will constantly help in the goal setting process and task complexity Go goal must be achievable as i said that uh, you may want to achieve 20 percent retention but your retention uh, um, your attrition is at 80 percent so it's difficult. Uh, so uh, if like uh, people are not willing to stay back, can be uh, due to multiple reason. If you may have hired those people who are doing more than one job or there are students who are also focusing on study and the examination is coming. And because of that, the attrition is there. So uh, whatever you're setting to achieve, is it achievable? Like, because in these cases, things may not motivate them and you may fail to uh, achieve the goal which you are setting. So it's uh, important to have uh, to be very rele uh, realistic, relevant, uh, have give the ownership, have a very uh, uh, clear, uh, have clarity on what do you want to achieve and how do you want to achieve it? And is it challenging enough or uh, motivating enough or not? Uh, so I'll uh, move to the next slide. Uh, so we have discussed that what is goal, uh, why goal uh, setting and why goal setting is important. Five principles of goal setting. But it all melts down to one thing that a goal without plan is just a wish. So if you have a goal, if you have thought about a goal, but you have not planned how to implement it, if you have not planned how to achieve it, it's going to uh, may remain just a wish maybe get fulfilled by mistake, but in most of the case, uh, this is uh, something which you're setting to uh, fail uh, in long run or short run as well. So it's important to have a proper plan in place. So uh, I'll uh, launch another poll here and uh, uh, like, please uh, everyone vote. Do you follow any process to uh, do the goal setting? As uh, you, have, you have mentioned that you do goal setting, uh, is there any process you follow? 
I have launched the poll. Uh, please uh, go ahead and vote. Only 54% of people have voted. I'll request everyone to vote, please. Okay, I'll publish the result. 82% uh, percent of the people said that uh, they do follow a process uh, to set the goal. Uh, I'll request those who have said yes, uh, we do follow a process. I request uh, you to uh, unmute yourself and share that how do you measure uh, your goal accomplishment? Which process do you follow? The goal setting process. So uh, you can raise your hand. I'll unmute you from my end and then you can share. Or you can also put it in the Q&A section. What is your goal setting process and how do you monitor? Uh, I can see three people raising the hand. I'm going to unmute you. Mikla, you can speak. You have to unmute yourself from your end. Mikla, please. Uh, uh, I have unmuted you from my end. You can speak. Yeah. <clears throat> Namaste, one and all. I am Mekala from Chennai. Uh, I'm handling higher secondary uh, classes. So what I used to do is um, I will have a, a plan of completing two chapters. For example, I'm saying if I'm going to complete two chapters and according to the time, uh, I will fix up the, I will maintain a quiz for, uh, conduct a quiz for uh, a class, minimum three to four quiz. It's, it's about, a, uh, it's going to be an objective type of questions. So uh, hardly 50 questions would be there. So once, uh, the, uh, once I conduct the quiz, I will be able to understand. I, 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 I come to a conclusion like how many students would have, I mean, how, how, how would I've reached the students? How many students have uh, understood the concept? So first, uh, I will uh, just look into the process of understanding the concept not uh, thorough with the answers just if they have understood the concept of the two chapters uh, i think i have uh, i mean i have uh, uh, full fledged in my work i feel in that way so this is what i used to follow and the maximum uh, i'll be finishing the portion maximum 45 days before the uh, target date given by our management by your school uh, principal so before before two months uh, actually they set a, a target date so before that uh, period uh, minimum 45 <laughs> days i used to finish up finish off my syllabus so following this uh, pattern of uh, having a quiz i mean uh, what do you say objective type of questions thank you all Okay. Uh, thank you, ma'am, for sharing. Uh, that's a good approach because you are measuring whatever you're setting to achieve. You're measuring that whether yes. the goal is achieved or not. Uh, also, yes. I'll request uh, if you want to like shed some light on how do you set goal for yourself. Here you're setting it for student, right? As a teacher, how yes. do you set goal for yourself? Um, active participation. Like, uh, see, once if the students. Oh, you mean to you mean to ask how do I set you? Uh, like, your management uh, has any goal sheet for you to achieve in a year? Yes, madam. They come for the observation once in a while. Every month they used to come for an observation. So in that day we have a, a list of schedules. What are all the teacher? I mean, uh, teacher should handle. Uh, I mean, how uh, teacher should conduct in the class that they have. So the way of communication, the way of handling classes, the way of using technical skills, uh, all that would be measured. So I used to, uh, I mean, how do I express? I used to look into all those uh, concepts of uh, the target. Accordingly, I will 
set my goal. Okay, so there are certain parameters to assess, uh, do the classroom yes. observation and then to yes. provide you the feedback. Uh, yes. It's not that uh, management just wants to uh, assess the teacher performance, but they themselves are not sure. So here the proper goal setting is at place that they want to assess your performance. They have a proper uh, uh, plan in place that how they're going to do it and provide the feedback and yes. Yes. Uh, track the feedback. Okay, yes. uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Pankaj Bajar, I'm unmuting you. Uh, you can share and uh, then we'll uh, move to next slide, uh, keeping time constraint in mind. You can unmute yourself, uh, sir, from your end. I have unmuted you from my end. Okay, uh, I'll move. Uh, I'll move ahead. Uh, so uh, someone has written that participatory discussion and setting a goal have quarterly evaluation. Uh, that's important to include people in goal setting, have the discussion, set a goal, and evaluate whether it's being achieved or not. Uh, so, uh, but uh, uh, still, uh, like the process of goal setting, how do you set a goal? Uh, Mekla ma'am has uh, covered uh, uh, about it in a bit. We'll deep dive into it and understand that how uh, uh, how the goal setting process can uh, is, can look like and uh, how effective um, measurement of goal accomplish, uh, accomplishment can be done. So uh, there is a strategy called SMART goal. So let's understand what is SMART goal. Uh, so SMART stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, time-bound. If you have heard about this, uh, please uh, uh, write a uh, yes in Q&A section. If you have heard about SMART Go. Okay, we are getting responses. I'm, I'm sure like... Uh, uh, many of us are aware of what is smart goal. Today we'll deep dive into it and understand that how uh, you can uh, like put uh, your goal into different buckets and have a concrete uh, goal. So thank you for your responses. So smart goal, as I've mentioned, uh, that a goal should be specific, very clear, what you're going to achieve, what you're desiring, uh, measurable, there should be something to track whether it's progressing or not. Is there uh, any outcome? How it's going on? Is it achievable? The goal is challenging enough or realistic enough to achieve it. Is it relevant to the larger uh, picture? So for example, uh, I want to maybe uh, start running a, a marathon. Is it relevant for my profession? So uh, your goal should always be relevant. Whatever you are setting to achieve, is it relevant uh, with, uh, or aligning with what you you want to do? Time bound is important. Uh, time plays a major role in any goal setting. If you are failing to accomplish or achieve something in a given time period, or uh, if you fail to assign a time to it or allocate a time to it, you are uh, set to uh, fail uh, for sure. So let's see it with the help of example. So here we have a goal statement. So the goal statement says that to increase student, uh, student uh, to increase student enrollment by 20% in compared to March uh, previous year by March 2024. So let's see uh, how we can uh, fit it into smart goal bucket. So here, what is specific? School is willing to increase the enrollment by end of March 2024. That is clear. Measurable is this me measurable? Yeah, they want to see increase in enrollment by 20% in compared to last year. So for example, last year enrollment was 70%. This year they are striving to achieve 90%. Is it achievable? Yes, school will be deploying more resources. They'll be spending more on uh, ad advertisement, uh, more on events uh, to get the traction from the parents. So yeah, it's achievable. Uh, so school uh, will allocate more budget to achieve it. Is it relevant? Uh, definitely increase in enrollment by 20% is relevant because that will uh, bring revenue for the organi uh, for the school. It will increase the profit and that will uh, definitely impact the staff compensation. Time bound? Uh, yes, uh, uh, it's clearly mentioned that uh, they'll be uh, like uh, the school leader or the school will be achieving it by March 2024. So this is an example of smart goal. There's a goal statement saying that 
So uh, the goal statement is uh, a smart statement in its own way. And you can easily put it in different buckets saying that, uh, yeah, it's specific, it's measurable, it's achievable, it's relevant, and it's time bound. We'll deep dive into it. Uh, but before that, let's understand uh, why smart goal. Uh, so uh, here, uh, and uh, uh, like it's important uh, to, uh, uh, like it helps the uh, team to boost their morale and all. Uh, so I'll just uh, give an example. So if I'll just say that you have to increase the enrollment, there's no process in place. You don't know how you're going to do it. You have no idea about marketing budget. You have no idea about how parents are reacting to it. Will it motivate you? If I'll just come as a school leader and tell you that we need to increase the enrollment, but there's no proper plan in place. This way, and uh, this will end up demoralizing. But if I'll tell you, okay, these are the five things uh, as a school we need to do to achieve this goal, it's motivating. So there's proper plan in place to achieve that goal. So it's important to uh, have smart goal. It elevates the team uh, morale. It inspired them to achieve, develop a culture of learning. So uh, for example, uh, I may not be very familiar with how to do a intervention in the community or how to get more interaction. So uh, a goal, uh, if there are ways which is already given to you, the, uh, it's been shared by you, so it will help you to develop a learning culture. So for example, uh, I am I am from the admin team and I'm constantly working on it. As a teacher, if you're uh, working with me, there would be a lot of cross-learning which will happen. Uh, and uh, a goal, as I said, that will give a clear uh, direction to uh, people who will be working to achieve it. And it will help to build the learning culture improve skill uh, development. Uh, so uh, for example, uh, here I'll, I'll just give a 10 standard uh, example. So there's a, you want to achieve 100% result for 10 standard. Uh, it's uh, motivating, uh, it's challenging. Uh, everyone wants uh, their school to perform good in 10 standard. It will boost your morale. It's setting a learning culture because you're constantly learning and delivering as a teacher that, uh, okay, I want to, uh, I want my 10 standard student to achieve this percentage or 100% pass percentage. What are the things I need to learn uh, to deliver that? Uh, so there would be definitely skill improvement. Uh, improvement in performance, you'll be able to prioritize. So earlier, my priority was just maybe course completion or uh, ensuring that uh, slow learners are getting to study. But here, my priorities are clear that I want every student to pass in board exam. So it will help to uh, help me to work towards achieving that goal. It help it will help me to prioritize. So for example, maybe uh, my uh, English students are performing better, but maths are not able to perform that better, right? But if there's a goal of achieving a uh, hundred percent pass percentage for all the subject uh, uh, for all the students, then I need to equally focus on all the subjects and will uh, develop strategies to achieve that goal. So it will improve performance. It also gives sense of accomplishment. So if you want to achieve something, you have resources for it, you know uh, how to do it, uh, where to get the help from, what skill set need to develop, uh, how uh, and monitor the progress. So it ultimately gives you the sense of uh, achievement and accomplishment. So a smart goal is uh, quite beneficial for us. So let's see uh, and understand. Uh, initially, I've just given you uh, this example of 20% increase in enrollment. Let's see how to set smart goals. So what sort of question you can ask when you're setting a smart goal or what uh, things you can put uh, in your goal, uh, goal when you're writing a uh, goal statement. So in specific, you can ask what needs to be accomplished, why this goal is important, who will be responsible for achieving this goal, and what steps need to be taken care to achieve this. Uh, I'll deep dive into all these uh, components uh, moving on. In measurable, you can ask how will I measure my progress, as Mekla ma'am has said that she takes assessment to measure the uh, progress. Or uh, when uh, the school is uh, doing the observation, they record the observation and share the feedback with her. So it's measurable. So, uh, something is being getting recorded to measure it. How uh, how I know I, my goal is achieved or not. Uh, you, when you do a goal setting, you also set a particular uh, outcome. So uh, here, uh, as I've mentioned, that 100% board result, 20% uh, teacher retention, increase in teacher retention, 20% increase in enrollment. So these are measurable in numbers. If uh, I'll just come and say that uh, you have to achieve this, but how much is good enough? Like 5% is good enough or 
and it can be demoralizing maybe i for me 10% is good enough but the moment i go back with it uh, to the management they may be expecting 50% so there would be mismatch as well so it's very important to make a goal measurable achievable uh, again it's very important to have this thing that the goal is clear and it's achievable as i said uh, that uh, maybe uh, your uh, enrollment uh, pace is really slow but all of a sudden you are saying i want to increase my uh, enrollment by 50% though year by year you you were able to only increase your enrollment by 10% so it's difficult to take a jump from 10 to 50% so it's very important to be practical and see this that whatever goal you are setting is it achievable so it's maybe uh, using and uh, by deploying some resources i may be able to push it from 10 to 20% but 10 to 50 is something which is not very feasible or uh, you have to like mobilize a lot of resources to achieve it do you have that resources so it's important to take care of it whether uh, you know uh, it's achievable or not a uh, goal is uh, like uh, whatever you're saying is it uh, like reasonable to achieve it or not uh, relevant again uh, is it um, matching with your organization goal uh, so, for example, uh, maybe as a teacher, I want to uh, uh, take a cooking class as my hobby or I want to uh, go for uh, hiking. Is it matching my organization goal, school goal? Right. So it's important that you are somewhere aligning your goal or uh, your professional goal with your with your school goal or with the uh, uh, work setup you're working with. And uh, is it related to employee uh, development, right? So, for example, if you are not an admin, but I'm, I start teaching you operation work in every day-to-day -day basis, would it motivate you? Is it relevant for you? Or, uh, you know, if uh, you are not a librarian, you are a regular uh, you know, school teacher, but I start uh, teaching uh, you things, uh, how to take care of a library, how to uh, like uh, uh, make it operational in best, best possible way. It's not relevant for you as a subject teacher, right? Uh, maybe this can be taken care of uh, by a librarian. So it's very important when you're setting a goal, it's whether the person who will be achieving it, is it uh, the goal is relevant for the person or not, right? So uh, that also needs to be taken care of. And uh, like, uh, will it help to employ to succeed in their job? So if uh, as a teacher, if we are, uh, aiming to uh, like uh, teach one subject or uh, two subject or you want to uh, maybe take you are teaching uh, geography right now maybe you want to start uh, taking uh, history as well so uh, is it like adding value in your subject so maybe for uh, right now you are a social science teacher and all of a sudden i'll expect you to start teaching maths that's not relevant to your job or the area you are catering right so it's not relevant for you and it may end up demoralizing if you'll start pushing you to uh, maybe with time you can do it but currently what is relevant for your job role time what how long it will uh, take uh, keep a checkpoint on it as i said that we all do academic planning monthly planning quarterly planning because it's important to have a time limit uh, you won't be able to achieve a goal or uh, a swan goal uh, without a time bound so it's important. Uh, that's how we set a smart goal. Uh, till now, here, if you have any uh, question query, uh, you can put it in the Q&A section. Uh, we'll take it uh, there and uh, post that uh, we'll move ahead. Okay, so no questions so far. I'll just uh, move uh, with uh, how to set a SMART goal. So as uh, we have mostly school leader and teachers with us today. So here we have a goal statement. I'll uh, request everyone to pay uh, attention to it uh, because um, here you'll learn uh, practically how a goal statement can be fit into specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. So here the goal statement uh, is uh, to improve parent satisfaction, uh, to increase the parent satisfaction score from 70 to 90 percent through parent survey and interventions by end of term two. So this is the goal statement. 
that a school leader is aiming to increase parent satisfaction score from 20% through parent survey and intervention by end of term two. So uh, if you agree that this goal is a uh, like smart goal, uh, the goal statement is a smart goal, uh, please uh, comment in the Q&A section if you agree to this. So let's see uh, how we can uh, like uh, make it a, a smart goal and uh, can uh, put it in uh, different buckets. So the goal is specific. So school leader is aiming to form a team of five members. Again, I'll uh, ask you to go back and reflect on it. Who will do the task? So a team of five member will do the task to ensure gathering of parent data, analysis, report. Focus is to increase parent satisfaction, what they'll be doing. So they'll be focusing on increasing the parent satisfaction, average review rating through effective intervention. So here, what interventions can be? It can be through uh, improving customer experience by uh, setting up a help desk or uh, setting up a customer care line or uh, resolving queries on priority basis. Uh, so here, the goal is specific, measurable. Is this goal measurable? Yes, uh, increase a parent satisfaction score from 70 to 90%. So uh, looking for 20% improvement and uh, get at least 10 positive parent review to publish for marketing. So the moment you're getting positive uh, reviews, that means it's measurable. Uh, those positive review will um, give you insight that uh, it's uh, uh, it's the score is improving. Is it achievable? So it's a hypothetical uh, situation here. Last quarter, the parent average rating have improved by 5%. So if there's a scope of improving it by 5% with the help of a dedicated team, 20% uh, can be achievable if a proper plan is uh, implemented and monitored. Uh, is this relevant or uh, the goal? Uh, yes, uh, the goal is relevant. Increasing parent satisfaction score offers a whole uh, benefit for improving uh, customer retention and loyalty. So uh, it will help uh, uh, in improving uh, customer satisfaction, which will lead to more and more parents coming to school or sticking to school and uh, uh, long term loyalty from them. This needs to be achieved by end of the term two. So the goal which is set needs to be achieved by end of term two. So here you can see that uh, clearly uh, improvement parent satisfaction can be done. And this is uh, how you can make a smart goal. So I'll move to the next example here. So uh, here the next example is of ERP training goal. So school leader wants to teach his, tra uh, his teachers, wants his teachers to go through an ERP training, enterprise resource planning. So I'll, I'll talk about it. So enterprise resource planning, we all use these applications where the attendance is happening, uh, automatic messages are going to parents, fee collection is happening. It's It's a sort of minimizing your day-to-day -day, uh, uh, by hand job and uh, chores and uh, maximizing the productivity. Uh, so in increasing efficiency. So a school leader wants a group of 20 staff will undergo instructor-led ERP training for 30 days to learn and manage different activities on ERP to maximize, maximize productivity. So here the goal statement is clear, right? So what I'm focusing and uh, trying to bring your attention is that the moment you have a clear goal statement that this is what I want to achieve, you can make a smart goal out of it or your goal statement should be a smart goal. So here again, I'll break it down for you. So here it's specific, a group of 20 admin staff and teacher will undergo uh, ERP training to learn uh, the uh, platform and how to uh, use it effectively. Is this measurable? The goal is measurable. Yeah, uh, 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 the staff can record our safe by them uh, uh, while going through this training or by using the ERP. So earlier the uh, work I used to do on a register or a manual work, is it saving my time when uh, there's a lot of automation of work? Because I don't have to like uh, juggle between multiple file folder and registers to register to do that. So uh, a record of our safe per day can be um, uh, kept uh, 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 can be recorded, uh, and uh, this will uh, show that uh, the uh, training is helping and uh, the it's maximizing the productivity. Is this goal achievable? Uh, yes, a group of teacher have already gone through it and they have uh, given this feedback that uh, there is improvement in uh, productivity and uh, 
smaller the group, the better uh, the outcome and the training outcome is. So this time the school leader is sending only 20 uh, admin staff for this and teachers for this training. Uh, ERP training will help uh, you know, to like, uh, is this relevant, the goal or to uh, send uh, admin and teachers through this uh, ERP training. So yeah, uh, school has invested. It's a tool which will help to curve down a lot of manual work. So it's relevant and will save time for teachers as well as uh, like uh, school. And also there would be a lot of data recording uh, which will happen in backend. And as uh, we have taken uh, a webinar on data as well, that how uh, uh, data and uh, effective insights from data uh, can be beneficial for school. So uh, it's time bound or uh, the training is for 30 days. So here again, uh, this uh, goal statement is a smart goal statement. It's specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and there's a time bound. There's a time limit of 30 day training for this, for, uh, for the people who will be going through the training. Uh, example of another uh, example for school leader. So uh, here a school leader wants to uh, improve academic, uh, uh, want to uh, like focus on academic improvement by effectively monitoring it. So the uh, school leader wants to conduct two classroom observation every week and share observations feedback with teachers make this part of academic monitoring throughout the year. So as Nikla ma'am have said that there is observation, I'm sure there would be a number of observation uh, which is uh, assigned uh, uh, to the coordinator, to the school leader, uh, uh, which like, and the frequency, who will do it, uh, there would be some uh, format to do this. So here the goal statement is again a, a smart goal statement. Let's uh, segregate and see how it is a smart goal statement. So it's specific. Uh, the school leader wants to conduct two classroom observation every week to keep a record. Also, it's feasible. It's achievable because maybe considering the time uh, a school leader or an owner have, it's difficult to do more than two observation in a week. So uh, it's it's within a limit where it's achievable and uh, share the uh, like uh, feedback with the teacher by providing them ratings. So when a school leader is observing, they'll be sharing rating. Uh, they'll be rating the uh, facilitator out of 10, uh, that uh, how the facilitator is teaching, how's the classroom management, behavior management, other things, uh, pedagogy, uh, the resources and tool a uh, teacher is using. It's measurable because uh, they'll be rated uh, after the observation and there would be constant feedback the uh, ratings will be recorded so it's measurable it's achievable because it's limited and if effectively planned in the calendar or uh, then uh, can be easily achieved uh, relevant yeah because uh, this will help a uh, school leader to see what is working and uh, to see the uh, quality of the uh, teacher as well as uh, to figure out uh, which sort of support is required and it's it will be also helpful for teachers to uh, like uh, see their strength weaknesses and work on it and that will uh, and definitely uh, contribute in a classroom and learning outcome behavior management and other aspect it's time bound uh, yeah throughout the year twice a week so this is a year uh, long process so here i'm going to take a break uh, for a minute uh, and uh, we'll get back to it so this is a like small water break Oh, it's quite, it's summer, so please go and hydrate yourself and we'll be back in a minute. Uh, by the time I'll uh, request everyone to uh, share that, do they agree to it? Is uh, the smart goal example making sense to them, or is it seeing? Uh, is it like relevant for you? You can put it in the Q and A section. Do you think it's relevant for you, and it's adding some value? Uh, 
Okay, so uh, getting the responses that yes, it's relevant. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll be sharing uh, the presentation. Uh, thank you. It's relevant and presentation is very clear. Thank you. Okay, so let's deep dive into it. Right now, we have just seen, uh, we have just uh, discussed that how you can do effective uh, goal setting or smart goal setting for a school leader. Uh, we ha also have a lot of uh, teachers here, and it's also crucial for a uh, school leader how you can do effective goal setting for your teachers. Uh, so we'll move to that. So here we also have some examples for teachers that how you, uh, uh, like smart goal uh, will look like for teachers. So here again, we have a, a goal statement saying that uh, uh, like include hybrid teaching. So uh, we all know that after COVID, uh, there's a lot of shift in technology and uh, there's a lot of technology integration. And it is also talking about integrating hybrid mo mode of teaching and school. Uh, so the uh, goal statement is prepare yearly monthly lesson plan. Uh, monthly lesson plan to take hybrid classes twice a week throughout the year. So let's see whether uh, like uh, it fits into a smart goal bucket or not and how it fits into smart goal bucket. So it's specific. Prepare a yearly and monthly lesson plan. So you're supposed to prepare a, a monthly and yearly lesson plan to ensure and add activity accordingly where the hybrid mode is uh, like included. Like you are doing activities or showing them videos, uh, maybe uh, taking them out, sharing some links with them. Uh, so these things, uh, so a proper lesson plan uh, should be in place to ensure that hybrid mode of teaching is uh, included twice a week. Again, very specific that what you're uh, aiming to achieve. Is it measurable? Yes. So uh, if a teacher is making a lesson plan, uh, they can uh, like add uh, the resources which is required uh, to achieve it. And also uh, uh, like every teacher write the objective uh, uh, in the lesson plan that uh, I'm aiming to achieve this from this particular topic or want to teach student this. After the class, uh, a teacher can come back and write uh, whether, uh, you know, using the hybrid mode, how much they were able to deliver, how feasible it was, uh, uh, like what is the challenge and they can progress the uh, track the progress uh, month by month is this achievable yeah many of the uh, teachers are quite uh, familiar and getting used to of technology and uh, like online and hybrid mode is a uh, sort of future for us uh, is this relevant uh, yes there's a lot of uh, changes which is happening in education sector uh, there are a lot of tech companies are there out there and to get a good job or uh, to uh, like uh, work in a like dynamic environment it's important to upgrade the skill and uh, to opt hybrid mode also nb is talking a lot about uh, hybrid mode and uh, online education uh, in inclusion of online education not online ed education time bound uh, again throughout the year so uh, this is again a smart goal uh, that the statement is fitting into specific measurable achievable relevant and time bound uh, let's see another example. So here, uh, a school uh, it's again for school teacher to improve technical skills. So here, a staff to learn uh, Excel skill, basic Excel. So number of things which you need to learn is given here. That is basic Excel, uh, formula, data, operation, sort, count, VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP formulas. So uh, a staff needs to learn these skills in next six months through online classes conducted weekly on Saturday by school for two hours. So the goal is clear. If you see who will do it, who will attend it, when they will attend it, what they are going to learn, how they are going to learn. Everything is mentioned here. So it's a smart goal statement. Let's uh, again uh, break it down into uh, different buckets. Specific teachers are, uh, are to attend uh, uh, weekly online classes to conduct uh, 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 teachers. They have to attend the weekly online classes conducted by school on Saturday for two hours to learn these skills. Measurable, yeah, there will be a monthly assessment to uh, check whether, uh, uh, like what, uh, how much uh, teachers are performing, whatever they are learning, are they able to use that knowledge? So there's an assessment in place to measure the growth or uh, outcome of the training or uh, uh, classes which teachers are taking uh, on Saturday. Is this achievable? Uh, yeah, it's important to adapt uh, to uh, technology and uh, there's like uh, this guidance will help. And uh, 
it's relevant uh, it helps in digitizing a lot of data and processing it and will ease a lot of admin work so if you see making a manual report card is uh, difficult and uh, if you have to like uh, check a student performance for past 10 years if the school student is in the same school if you have everything manually recorded it's difficult so it's important to shift uh, on uh, and learn all these skills uh, so it's relevant for your profession uh, because um, it also saves a lot of time uh, time bound uh, yes uh, the um, training uh, online training is going to be there for six months so here again uh, the statement is a smart goal statement it's specific measurable achievable relevant and time bound uh, so far, we have discussed that how as a teacher, you can learn, uh, you know, you can uh, set a smart goal for a technical, for uh, like a pedagogical aspect of it. Let's also see that how you can also set a smart goal for your uh, soft skills. So building interpersonal uh, skill, which is very crucial for teachers and uh, we'll deep dive into it and talk about it. So here the goal statement is plan and conduct team building activities for 15 minutes during teacher meeting. So uh, let's see how uh, this goal is a smart goal. It's specific. Uh, uh, the activities needs to be done for 15 minutes to build a relationship and enhance cross learning or develop a positive school culture. So this is the uh, reason of uh, doing this. This is what uh, teachers are supposed to do. And this is the reason of doing it. I'll again uh, request you to go back and think about uh, the step where we have discussed how you can set the goal. So again, it's measurable, whatever, uh, whoever will be facilitating uh, will uh, maintain a record of it, what they are planning to facilitate, what they set to achieve uh, through that activity. And after the uh, facilitation of the activity, they have to record their reflection, uh, whether whatever they have set to achieve was achieved or not, uh, what, uh, what is their insight, or, like what are their key takeaways uh, after conducting the session. Is it achievable? Yes. If planned in advance in a teacher's meeting planner, it is achievable. Taking out 15 minutes time to build interpersonal skill is achievable. And uh, it plays a major role because there's a lot of cross learning happening. So for example, as I said that I may be a geography teacher, I'm good at geography, but there's a, uh, there's a uh, science teacher. So there can be some overlap of topic, uh, topics. Uh, maybe the, uh, the person uh, knows something. We, move, we may both know about soil, but in different way. So as a geography teacher, I may know the type of soil. And uh, as a geography teacher, I may know that which kind of soils are there, or what would be the geographical uh, location where you'll found it. But as a, a science teacher, they'll be more familiar with the component, uh, compose, uh, uh, components of it, uh, composition of soil. Right, so there can be a lot of cross learning which can happen uh, if, uh, uh, like, uh, if time is spent on uh, developing interpersonal skill. This is relevant, yeah. This is relevant to build a positive school culture as well as cross learning. But this also helps to uh, teach student in better way and build a good reputation with the parents as well. Uh, because, uh, like, uh, if you're uh, a good teacher, is someone who understands the student, their needs, and deliver it accordingly. So uh, building other interpersonal skill uh, uh, or learning the skill will help you to build the same skill in the classroom as well as with the parents. Time bound, again, this can be uh, done throughout the year for a weekly team teacher meeting. So as you've seen that these, like if you have a clear goal statement and a clear smart goal statement, goals are achievable. It's measurable, it's relevant, time bound, specific. So uh, please uh, like, uh, try to start focusing and try to start uh, like writing your goal statement in a way that it's it's smart goal basically where all the components are there so let's see uh, before uh, like we have already covered some examples of it but i would still like to cover what is not a smart goal versus a smart goal so here uh, uh, like we'll be talking about two examples so uh, if as a school teacher, I'm just saying that I'll take an educational course to learn and improve my teaching skill. Is this a smart goal? Uh, no, this is not a smart goal, right? I'm just saying that I'll take an educational course to learn and improve my teaching skill. I'm not saying which teaching, teaching skill I'm talking about. I'm not saying which educational course I am interested in. I'm not saying when I'll do it, how I'm going to do it. So this is not a smart goal. So if I want to make a smart goal statement, 
how the statement will look like. So here we have it. During summer vacation in May and June 2023, I'll sign up for a certificate course exam uh, like presentation skill or early childhood education, socio-emotional learning to enhance my teaching skill. So this is a smart goal. When you're going to do it, what you're going to do it, uh, in which time frame you're going to do it. So uh, other example, let's see that my parents' performance will, uh, my students' performance will improve this quarter. Is This goal is very vague. This is not giving any clarity. If I'll go and uh, say this to a parent uh, that, you know, uh, my uh, the student I'm teaching or the management that my student performance will improve this quarter. There's no clear outcome. There's no clear, clear planning in place. There's no clear timeline, no clear outcome. So not sure how you're going to achieve it if there is no clarity related to anything. But if you try to make it a smart goal, the same uh, like the same target which you want to achieve, your smart goal will look like by the end of the second term exam uh, uh, around September 23, my student will be at least uh, uh, like will see 25%. There will be 25% increase in their performance or their score. So, or 20% uh, uh, increase in the score. So, if a student was scoring only 70%, so uh, they'll score somewhere around 80, 85%. So, it's a clear goal, right? So, here a number is given, a duration is given, what I'm aiming to achieve. So, I'm aiming to achieve in terms of score across all the grades I'm teaching. So, if you guys agree that there's a difference in not smart goal and uh, versus smart goal, uh, please uh, drop a comment in the chat box. And how many of you want to like still uh, like are willing to go back and set the smart goal for uh, your uh, classroom, your school? You can uh, put it in Q and A section. So uh, now we have seen that. Uh, we have discussed example of smart goal and what is a smart goal what is not a smart goal statement uh, and uh, i think we have like enough of examples to uh, like understand it so let's do a quick activity here i'll request everyone to set one personal or professional goal uh, for yourself a smart goal for yourself give me a statement we have just discussed how you can set a smart goal statement i'll request everyone to take two to three minutes time and set one personal or professional goal, smart goal for yourself and share it with the audience. You can also put it in Q&A section or you can raise your hand and share it with us. If you want to share, you can raise your hand as well. I want you to write a smart goal statement for yourself. It can be a professional or personal. I can see someone raising their hand. Yes, Ashish Kumar, sir. I'll... Uh, sir, I have unmuted you. Oh, you have to unmute uh, yourself from your end as well, and then you'll be able to speak and share whatever you want. We have discussed a lot of examples of smart goal. I really want you guys to like participate in this activity and okay. Uh, someone has shared personal. I want to reduce my weight by 10 kgs by October 2023 by exercising every day for one hour. Correct. It's a smart goal. So the goal is clear. What do I want to do? I want to reduce the weight by 10 kgs by this duration. And which method I'm going to use uh, by exercising? And uh, like, um, I'm, I'm sure there will be relevance to it. Uh, the other example uh, which we have got uh, is uh, the other response which we have got is I will enroll for two year online management course in next academic year. Again, the goal is clear. I will enroll for a two year online management course 
and next academic year. Uh, other goal uh, statement which we have received is independent thinker and leader of tomorrow as school leader. So here it's uh, I'll just say to reflect a bit on it. Uh, it's it's not it's still not a, a smart goal. So uh, yeah, there's a behavior. It's a behavioral goal. You want to be an independent thinker. How do you want to do it? What do you do to be this independent thinker? What activities you'll uh, be part of? by when you will be able to do it. So like I may want to uh, go through some brainstorming session uh, uh, to be an independent thinker for next three months, six months. And so uh, you have to be like add all those components to it. Uh, other uh, uh, response which we have received is I have to complete planning of my activity for term. I so that my teacher will not find difficult in carrying out their role. Again, uh, it's a statement, uh, but what work you're talking about? which sort of activities uh, planning of activities okay again uh, the timeline is missing uh, for, what timeline you're looking for by like next month or in two months or quarterly planning you're looking for uh, so we'll uh, request to uh, like uh, think and uh, pay attention to it so, to make it a smart goal as i still i will increase student first uh, student enrollment by 15 percent for academic year 2024 by focusing on parent satisfaction in reference to student learning. Correct, it's a smart goal. All the components uh, are there. It's specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Uh, I will update myself during the summer vacation by joining online courses and also improve my communication skill by three months. Okay. Vacation. Oh. Yeah, I think uh, this is also a... Uh, smart goal but will suggest to like write months when you're saying summer vacation uh professional i want to improve my presentation and delivery skill by enrolling myself to take six week online course uh good it's a smart goal but when you want to do it again uh, a bit reflection on that what would be the time bound so you want to attend a six week online classes but when you want to do it you want to do start it from this month six months down the line a year down the line okay two months Okay, thank you for your responses. Like, uh, I'm, I'm glad that like uh, there are a lot of smart goals which are coming up and uh, like uh, there is a lot of clarity related to it. Uh, so thanks for being active uh, participants here. So uh, here I'm going to launch a poll uh, to ask you that do you think early goal setting is crucial to attain desired outcome? So I'll be launching a poll. Uh, you can go and vote key, uh, like whether early goal setting is important for uh, to achieve the desired result and outcome or not. So I've launched the pool. Please uh, go ahead and move. Okay, so I'm going to publish the result. 96% of the people uh, have said that uh, it's important. It's important to do a yearly goal setting. So let's move ahead and see how we can do that. So uh, here we have a sample uh, yearly goal setting uh, 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 for you. So this is for school leaders. So if you're a school leader, how your yearly goal uh, like goal setting will look like, uh, like how you can do early goal setting. So you can define your goal area. They give the weightage, like how much time and energy or uh, importance you want to give to that particular goal area. What you want to achieve in that goal area? What would be the matrix weightage? Again, uh, the goal weightage are divided uh, for different uh, like uh, sub goals. And what will be the annual target? So here. As a school leader, uh, my first goal area is learning outcome. The weightage is 40%. I want to like spend 40% of my time, effort, and energy in achieving this goal. A uh, matrix description is implementing and monitoring. Uh, so uh, like uh, the matrix description is basically ensuring 
90% pass percentage of the school. So as a school leader, my focus is to improve the learning outcome and I am aiming or I am in writing that I will achieve 90% pass percentage for my school. So my annual target is 90%. Okay. The other learning outcome can be ensure 100% board result. Again, the annual target is 100. Uh, other learning outcome uh, or goal area I want to focus as a school leader. You have uh, just example, you can have your own uh, like goal areas and sub goals. Uh, effective implementation of social emotional learning, 10% uh, part of NEP. And also uh, want to start uh, shifting towards NEP implementation and wants um, student to learn coding uh, uh, or take uh, like uh, arrange coding classes for them from sixth grade onwards. So here again, as a school leader, I want to do 100% of these things. My other goal area is school development. As a school leader, I also want to focus on developing my school. I'll be doing some survey. I'll do I'll do quarterly inspection. Uh, again, our target area. So as a school leader, I'll do quarterly inspection. My annual target is school inspection in a year. So I, I also want to collaborate for third with third party to uh, provide uh, better opportunities. Uh, so uh, for example, I may want to uh, like uh, include some uh, sports related activities or I want to collaborate uh, uh, for some uh, ed tech uh, with some ed tech company to provide uh, better education. So these sort of collaboration can again part of school development and uh, here the annual target can be too. Uh, again, this is just a, a example that how you can, uh, as a school leader, set your uh, goal. Uh, other goal area can be parent satisfaction. Your sub goal can be uh, to gather parents' information and make report, organize uh, and uh, like plan, organize and execute PTA meeting, conduct. Uh, so these can be your uh, parent satisfaction uh, goal. Uh, other goal area can be marketing and advertisement. Uh, as a school uh, focuses learning outcomes, school development, marketing. So uh, you can uh, like focus on uh, doing community events to increase the outreach. So as a school leader, you, you plan to do 10 uh, uh, community events in a year. Your annual target is 10. Uh, you can gather success stories from students, uh, uh, those who have performed well, have got admission in good school or good colleges after passing out from your school, have attained good marks in 10. So it's important to gather those testimonials and use it as uh, your marketing uh, or as your advertisement tool. So here again, you can have a annual target for it. Uh, recruitment, uh, goal area weightage, uh, you want to hire how many people you want to hire and uh, you want to uh, uh, give them a training to ensure that high quality uh, staff is there in your school. So these can be your goal areas. Uh, you can have your sub goal and annual target and this can be divided into weekly targets so let's see a similar goal setting yearly goal setting for teachers so here the goal area can be learning outcome again focus can be learning outcome uh, for teachers so uh, uh, your uh, as a teacher uh, your first sub goal can be course completion 15 days prior to terminal exam and one month prior to annual exam so to ensure a uh, good learning outcome as a teacher, you're supposed to do this, achieve this. Annual target is achieving it 100%. Other thing can be ensuring 95% per pass, pass percentage, 100% again, annual target. Initiate or uh, take initiative or take project to develop one futuristic skill and student. So there's a lot of like demand uh, uh, and uh, like futuristic uh, skills demand. So uh, you, as a teacher, you can take up one project to develop that uh, futuristic uh, uh, skill in the student. Here, your annual target can be one again. Uh, preparing student for inter uh, school or academic uh, inter school academic competition. So as a teacher, if uh, there are some events coming, you're you're responsible for uh, like coordinating and uh, preparing student to attend such event once a year. So this can be uh, as a teacher your goal. Again, uh, parent satisfaction, uh, uh, like your contribution as a teacher and parent satisfaction can be a goal. Then interventions you want to uh, like uh, plan. So uh, coordinating with the uh, partners for collaboration. So uh, like you want to do a Olympiad. Uh, so is there someone who will take up the responsibility or third party will come and conduct the math Olympiad or any other competition planning and organizing of PTA meeting can be one goal sub goal for the 
uh, teachers in intervention, contributing in school and community event can be a goal. Uh, personal uh, growth may a uh, uh, teacher can like take up a pedagogical development training. So you can uh, maybe focus or take up uh, activity based learning training or uh, a technical skill development, maybe presentation skill or Excel skill. So that's how you can plan your yearly goal. This is, as I said, this is just an example. We'll also be sharing uh, like handout with you where you'll get all the details and you'll also get a template uh, in Excel form where it's blank. You can add your goal and you can add your uh, like sub goals, annual target, your quarterly target. What do you want to achieve? So uh, as we have seen that yearly goal uh, is uh, important. Like using this format, you can set as a school leader, you can set goal for yourself. As a teacher, you can uh, like set goal for yourself. A school leader can like uh, set goals for teachers as well. So uh, uh, like so far we have uh, covered uh, like uh, goal, uh, what is goal, goal setting, why it is important. Uh, and uh, smart goal setting, how to do smart goal setting, uh, some examples for school leaders and some examples for uh, teachers followed by yearly goal setting. So moving on, uh, like I'll just uh, request everyone to think that is there any other goal which I have mentioned here and school leader uh, go yearly goal or uh, and teachers yearly goal you think can be added in this planner. So you can uh, raise your hand and share with us or you can just uh, put it in a Q&A section that do you want to like add some any like any other goal apart from this, uh, which is coming in your mind right now, you can see, share in a Q&A section. Is there any goal which is like coming in your uh, mind that uh, you want uh, to achieve at for yourself as a school leader or a teacher and you want to share it with us here? Okay, so I have not received any responses. Uh, feel free to uh, put it later also whenever you get something. So let's uh, move on uh, as uh, uh, like uh, we have uh, covered uh, quite, quite in detail and thanks for your uh, like uh, good response and interaction through Q&A section. Uh, we at Varthana, uh, we also have uh, like uh, have some academic uh, partners uh, with us. So one is Lead School. Lead School is an innovative tech-based learning solution. They uh, provide uh, like world-class uh, international level uh, curriculum, uh, which is hybrid in uh, mode and uh, the quality uh, is really good. They train teacher effectively and uh, like uh, they ensure a quality delivery of like uh, collabor uh, uh, quality delivery, uh, quality curriculum uh, delivery. Uh, so we have one partner lead and the other is Kyan. So Kyan is a like it's a multimedia computer uh, like a com multimedia computer with a data uh, projector. Uh, so uh, it's a projector where there's a lot of data installed. It's uh, in the projector and it can be easily projected on a wall and uh, uh, like can be easily seen very portable to carry and quite co cost effective because it's difficult to set up uh, like a uh, uh, digital classroom and it, it's uh, quite expensive to set up like have a edtech uh, setup uh, but can is very feasible and it has a lot of content inbuilt content uh, related to, uh, and uh, for different classes and subjects so this is another uh, like uh, like partner we, which we have if you are interested in any of uh, these programs uh, you can uh, like put it in the uh, you can uh, share this that with us in our uh, through our feedback form and you can also reach out to us our email id is hello at varthana.com and our contact number is 080 684 uh, 